Hi everybody, I've been out uh, for the whole summer, I haven't recorded anything in a while. I decided to uh, do a uh, quick previews. I know the season's already started, but decided to do some quick previews, uh, division by division. Uh, so let's start with the Northeast Division. Uh, let's start with the Bruins first. Um, obviously the, the biggest loss for the Bruins is uh, uh, Phil Kessel. Uh, I think that um, losing a 36 goal score without replacement is uh, is uh, is pretty significant. I think it's being downplayed by a lot of pundits that I hear. Uh, they said the Bruins are just as good as last year, but I think they're kind of uh, uh, overrated because I think that they will struggle offensively this year a little bit. Um, just because, like I said, um, you take a 36 goal score off the team without replacing him with anybody for this year. I mean, I know they got draft picks uh, for the future, but as far as this year, it's a very dynamic, the most dynamic player on a team is gone. Uh, not to mention that he's only uh, 21 years old. So uh, Phil Kessel, in, in my opinion, will be a, uh, a 40, probably a 50, maybe even a 50 goal scorer in just a couple of years. So uh, he's a very special player. And uh, if I were a Bruins GM, I would probably try to hold on to him as, 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 as much as I can. Um, and I know they had a problem with the salary cap, but I would try to look for different solutions instead of getting rid of uh, uh, Phil Kessel, uh, unless he really did not want to play in Boston, which, you know, some reports uh, say that was the case. Uh, but overall, like I said, the 50 goal scorers are not easy to find. And when you find one, especially somebody who's so young and already scored 36 goals, you, you don't get rid of him. You don't get rid of him. Yeah, that's, that's what I think anyway. Um, so I think the Bruins are not going to be as good as they were last year. Uh, I think a lot of people will kind of uh, uh, overestimate overestimate them. And I'm not just saying that because of their first game at home when they were good, when they basically got crushed by the Washington Capitals. But I would have said that before the season even started. Um, anyway, um, uh, moving on. Um, I mean, they haven't actually. I guess. Just to say another thing about the Bruins, they haven't really made any significant additions, I think. Uh, Derek Morris, um, I mean, he's all right. Uh, I guess he's going to play on the first power play unit at the start of the season, it looks like. Uh, but I don't think that he's a particularly amazing addition. Um, I really like Matt Hunwick. I think that he really showed a lot last year, and he's going to be a really great defenseman, so he's probably going to have even a better year this year. Um, you know, everybody else is still there. Um, Byron Bates is going to play probably the whole season with the Bruins. Really like him. And David Krejci, we'll see how he does in a, his second full season in the NHL. Uh, I think he'll be all right. Uh, but, you know, Marco Sturm, Marco Sturm obviously is back from the injury, so he will offset the loss of Phil Castle somewhat. Uh, but I don't think he'll be able to replace him. Uh, oh, one more thing. People say that uh, Phil Castle uh, was made to look better by... Uh, uh, by Mark Savard, which is absolutely true, but people have to remember that it also works both ways. Uh, Mark Savard also had an extremely dynamic, very fast, skillful player to pass to who can finish. So it works both ways. Uh, let's see. Let's look at another team in the division. Actually, you know what? Let me just break it off here and just make this a, a Bruins preview, and I'll do a preview team by team. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.